This tutorial explains how to apply a heat flow rate, or an internal heat source, for thermal analysis in LISA. The unit for heat flow rate, is power. And the unit for internal heat source, is power per volume. In transient thermal analysis, they can either be constant, or time varying. Heat flow rate can be applied to nodes, edges, faces, or elements. The specified heat will be distributed equally amongst the selected items. When applied to edges, faces, or elements, in a mesh refinement, the heat flow rate will automatically be distributed to the new elements. This will not be the case for heat flow applied to nodes. To apply a heat flow rate, to a section of the left edge of this transient thermal analysis model. In the Select Nodes mode, drag to select that portion of the left edge. Switch to the Select Faces mode. The edge is now selected. Right click Loads and Constraints, then select New Heat Flow Rate. If the heat flow rate is constant over the duration of this transient analysis, accept the default constant selection, and type the value for the heat flow rate. If the heat flow rate varies over the duration of a transient thermal analysis, select the table option. As an example, consider a heat flow rate applied in the first 10 seconds of the analysis, then held constant for the next 60 seconds, before being removed. In the table at time zero, a zero heat flux will be specified. At 10 seconds, the heat flux reaches its full strength of 50. It then remains constant, up to 70 seconds into the analysis. After which, it is removed. This timeline shows the duration of the analysis, which is 300 seconds. And you can see the heat flow rate, as it is held constant between 10 and 70 seconds. If you know the internal power that is generated, and want to apply it in units of power per volume, you must apply it to only elements, and not faces or nodes. For example, if you have an internal heat source generating 5 power units, and you want to apply it over 4 elements, activate the Select Elements mode. Select the four elements, then use Lisa's volume measurement, to obtain the volume occupied by the four elements. Divide the power by this volume, which in this example, works out to 80 power units per volume. Right-click Loads and Constraints, select New Internal Heat Generation. If this heat generation is constant over the duration of a transient thermal analysis, accept the default constant selection. Then type 80. If the internal heat generation varies over the duration of a transient thermal analysis, select the table option, and follow the same procedure, as was described for specifying a time varying heat flow rate. For two-dimensional problems, as the thickness is 1, the volume should be calculated as area into 1. The internal heat generation, will then be specified as, power per area into 1. This ends the tutorial on applying heat flow rate, and, internal heat generation in LISA. Please view the other load and constraint tutorials to learn more of LISA's capabilities.